Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so you guys may know BIOS 333 came out a couple days ago. I'm kinda late, but never too late. You know what I'm saying? But so I just wanna show you guys some the new features and not a lot that came out with this new BIOS, but it fixes some issues that we've been waiting on for a while now and it also brings some support for a couple games that gives you better frame rate and more efficiency and smoother gameplay while you're playing the game. Right, so you gotta make sure you download this before you get those games. So let me get into it quick. Before I do that, guys, please hit that like button, drop a comment down below, let me know what you think, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, guys. And let me know what you think the future is for the Aces Rogue Ally and the Lenovo Go when that come out in a couple of days, which is like maybe two weeks from now. Look out for videos on that as well. All right, so first things first, uh, is support for two new games, which is Assassin's Creed and Lord of the Fallen. So before you start playing those games, make sure you download this new BIOS so that you get the best experience that they're offering right now with the Asus. So make sure you get that download before you start playing those games because it gives you better frame rate. And since I've been using this um, new update, I've been experiencing more, slightly a little bit more frame rate with some of the games that I'm playing, especially with Starfield. And as you can see, it fixes some bugs. If you look right here, it says fixes crashes while playing Starfield. But you also get some more frame rate. Maybe that's not something they intended to do. But the frame rate been better at lower wattage and even not wide higher wattage. Check that out. Let me know if you see any difference because I've been seeing it. With the fixes, it fix uh, driver crashes while playing Counter-Strike. It also improves shutter experience while playing Counter-Strike 2. And the next is one of the main big thing is for EA Sports, 24 may fail to open some MD graphics products. That's been an issue that's been going around with EA Sports, like some of the things they're not opening. So this should fix that problem. Next thing is what I've experienced, the freezing of the display. So it says, as it says right here, the display may intermediately freeze after changing the encoder format while streaming selected games on AMD Link. One more, one of the main issues that I have experienced is the performance metrics overlay may report NA while you're playing. So basically the FPS is not going to show, it's just saying NA. I've seen that happen a couple times, so that's, I don't think that's a major issue. You just got to sometimes, you just got to end the, the, the overlay and then restart it and it works. Or remember you got to close the game. But I've, I've had that issue as well. And then there's a couple more bug fixes that they implemented to make the experience kind of better while playing your video games and yeah, using the Ally in general. So those are all the main things. Right now, since Ally came out, there's been a couple bugs. Like after you install BIOS 330, it's saying that you still got to install it. Like what? But that's just a bug. Just once you install this, make sure you go to these settings to make sure you are on the newest version and then I mean you're good. It still might say, oh, you got an essential update, but don't watch that. You should be good. Once you release a fix for that, then that update should go away, which is like a fake notification. So you, you already updated. It's just showing you something that you already did already, if you get what I'm saying. That's a known issue. The next thing is with the 900p, if you download the new BIOS, your 900p option might go away in the command center all you gotta do is run the registry again for 900p and then you, you, the option should come back up on your command center so just do that and then you should be good guys that's basically it for all the features that they release and the bugs and that's it guys thanks for tuning in lenovo go is coming out soon so stay tuned for videos on that and thanks for tuning in guys and remember to always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out sub to the channel guys <laughs>